Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your barless full body workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells. I have five pounds, but you can grab heavier, you can grab lighter, just find a weight selection that is challenging for you. You may want to water or something to hydrate with as well. You do not need a mat. This whole workout is going to be standing today. Today's format, we go one minute on, 15 seconds off. Now we do not have to go at the same pace. You can go slower, you can go quicker. Just remember quality over quantity, always. Every exercise is non-repeat. But if we're doing a unilateral exercise, meaning one side of the body, we've got to hit it on the other side. During your recovery, do what you want. You can even hold an isometric position if you wanted to amp it up a notch. Just look in this corner during the recovery for the upcoming exercise. This one is quick. It's going to get your heart rate up. Grab all your stuff and let's get going. All right, our first two exercises will be our warm up exercises. So, really go slow and controlled with these. We also need a wall for the first exercise. And if you don't have one, just press into an imaginary wall with your hands. All right, so we're going to begin in an ISO squat position. You can start slightly above parallel. Hands go into a field goal position. Now, press the backs of the hands into the wall. So, you should already start to feel the upper body start to fire up. We're going to take it down for two and up for two, pressing into the wall. So really get the lats to draw down, fire up, and then bring it back in. You'll feel it in your shoulders as well. We go in three, two, and one. Let's work. I'm counting down the days till we fly away. Heading to the sun, only you and me Don't wanna waste another day being stuck here in this place. No. Last three, two, one, and recover. All right, next up, we have an internal rotation lunge. So really focus on internal rotation of the hips. And as we do that, we're gonna add a horizontal row with it. All right, maintain a neutral grip. We go in three, two, and one. We've been longing to escape and here we are. Driving narrow streets in a rusty car Leading to the sea, think we're getting close We should take a pick, baby, strike a pose I, I remember every day that I spent right here with you Yeah, you are the one who makes me feel I feel as good as I do Baby, I wanna still act like we are 22 right now just let go, lose control, play songs on the radio too loud. Last three, two, and one. Whew, all right, how's that for a warm up? Coming up next, we have a bicep curl reverse lunge to B stance squat. So we're gonna ground with the left leg, the right leg is gonna move. We go in three, two, and one. Low, high, up, tight, now let's take a ride. Flashing a smile, cover it up. But there's no surprise. As long as my heart goes, I got, I got the beat. I got the beat. Three, 
two, and one. Whew. All right, coming up next, we have a Lou raise to two lateral raises. On the Lou raise, supinated grip, and on the two lateral raises, a neutral grip. Maintain first position. Let's go. Up, down, left, right, I stand by your side. Low, high, up, tight, now let's take a ride. Flashing the smile, cover it up, but there's no surprise. Last three, two, and one. All right, we're going back to that reverse lunge to B stance squat, bicep curl. This time, your right foot grounds and your left foot is moving. Make sure in that B stance, it goes 80 and 20. Let's go. two and one all right coming up next so we're going back to upper body we have a neutral grip press to tricep extension we're going to maintain first position Ooh. oh shoulders are in fire already yay we go and three two one let's go And one. Ooh, coming up next, we have a lateral lunge to reverse lunge. So I'm mirroring you. So do it with your left leg first. We frame it, we curl it, and then it's back to that lunge. Make sure that hip stays locked in. Let's go.
two, and one. Oh, goodness, okay. Now we have a poliquin lateral raise at the top. It's gonna be hard. We flip the grip at the top, bicep curl before bringing it down. It's an eight count. Let's go. Okay, back to that lateral lunge to reverse lunge. This time your uh, right foot is going to move. Make sure your core stays tight so that doesn't happen with the hips. Gotta keep the core tight to help stabilize the hips. Let's go. Now we have a Y to a T hold. This one's really, really challenging. So make sure you're not having to use your hips to bring it up. I like to keep my hips slightly behind to really control it. Let's go. One, that was a killer. Okay, now we have three uh, pulses in the sumo squat position to one jump. Now I'm gonna hang on to my dumbbells the whole time. Option, use body weight only. Let's go. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. Two 
and one. Oh goodness. All right, we're hitting up everybody next, thank goodness. And it's a rear delt fly. And we're gonna pause and pull it down. So as we pull down, I want you to feel the lat muscles work. Ooh, we go in three, two, and one. Everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great. But so is there's a light inside of us. It shows the way. Not looking for no, no, no. One. Okay, we have a neutral grip full thruster. So we're gonna bring it up. We hold a calf raise. We bring the hands down and then release the heels. So it's one, two, three, and then the heels. Let's go. One. All right, our next exercise is probably our most challenging of the whole workout. All right, y'all. Here we go. Bus drivers to a calf raise. Let's do it. Last three, two, and one. All right. Grab those dumbbells, y'all. We are almost done. Sumo squat. We're gonna cross as we punch. Let's go. And one, all right, 
Ooh, all right, we're gonna hold that sumo squat position. Arms are gonna stay out to the side. If you need to, let them rest. We're moving from the sides of the waistline with this. So think obliques. Let's go. One. All right, we're gonna put our weights down for this next one. Hands are gonna go behind the head. We're gonna alternate. Don't just touch the knee uh, or the elbow to the knee. Twist from the thoracic spine. And then we add a calf raise for the bilateral movement. Let's go. And one, final exercise. All right, y'all, we're gonna punch forward for the first 30 with weight, and then we're gonna really slow it down, focus on a small range of motion for the final 30. Here we go, sumo squat position, let's go. Weights go in, shorten range of motion, big burn in the abs. In three, two, one, hold it. Sit here low. Ten seconds, and then those weights go down to the thighs. We hold an isometric sumo squat. And three, two, one, just hold heels up, 15 seconds. We got another 15, come on, take it one inch lower. Heels are up. Let's get those legs shaking, 10 seconds. One inch lower. Here's our last five, four, three, two, and one. Heels go down, release those dumbbells. Whew. Nice work, you rock. Let's stretch a little bit. Ah, recovery, very important. Make sure you hydrate, eat enough protein throughout the day, eat enough food throughout the day too. All right, we gotta fuel our bodies so we can do these workouts. <sighs> that was tough. Okay, let's go. So if you wanna make that maybe the five pound weights, I couldn't do any heavier than that. Let's go ahead and add a quad stretch. Uh, if you need to lighten those weights, cause if you saw a couple times on the bus drivers, oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, that was tough. So if you need to lighten the weights, 
you are different than me though, so maybe you can go heavier. If that did not feel challenging enough, maybe increase your weight selection. Oh, okay, other side. All right, let's hit the upper body. Inhale up, grab a hold of the right wrist with the left hand, and then cross the right leg over the left. Take the left hand and gently guide the right arm up and over so we feel a big stretch along the right lats and right side body along the obliques. Inhale up to center, exhale, let's hit that other side. Inhale back to center, quarter turn until your right foot can go forward, dorsiflex at the ankle, and then start to send the hips back. So we're aiming for a big stretch along the posterior uh, right leg. And when you're ready, bring it up and change sides. All right, y'all, this was a quick workout. So it's a quick stretch, final stretch of the day. Let's open up the shoulders and the chest. Inhale up. And as we exhale, cactus, look up. Feel a stretch along the chest into the front of the delts. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up and exhale. Open, y'all. Really nice work today. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below. Be sure to follow me on IG, Laurie Midkiff, and have a wonderful rest of your day.